Hello? Anybody here? Hey guys, it's James. Today we're talking about financial freedom and what real estate can do for you over the long-term basis. So a few years ago, we were looking for a house for my mom and what things we were running into is we were on a limited budget. She only had so much cash available. And what we were looking at just was dated, it wasn't quite working right and not the standard that we wanted. So what we ended up doing over the last couple of years is flipping three homes to where we took her $50,000 and we grew it exponentially into a couple hundred thousand dollars. During that time too, I was splitting the deals with her, I was saving the money that I was making, and we ended up reinvesting it into a fixer house to where we found for 350,000, we put about 135,000 into the renovation, and now it is worth 600,000. But we're not selling it this time. This is gonna be a home that my mom is gonna live in. So if you remember, the house was completely dilapidated. And the reason we targeted a home like that, you know, typically when people are trying to find their mom their next nice house, they want it to be ro rosy and fuzzy. I wanted something that I had enough margin in to where I could rebuild the whole thing for her and drastically improve it. So over the last nine months, it was all really long projects. We rebuilt the whole thing. We reframed the whole house. We bolted the ceilings. We'll go look inside in a second. We did all the plumbing, put in all the hardscaping to give it a nice big surface. And now what we have is a home that's very affordable that she can live in for the rest of her life. And it's a very manageable payment under $1,500 a month. And it's like new construction. So by doing the right things in investing and moving your money around strategically, you can grow that nest egg and really enjoy financial freedom. There is no way that she can live in a house like this for the cost of her mortgage. It's about 50% less than what she would have to pay in a rental house of this caliber. So by doing the right things, building the right pot and the right wealth, we're able to put her in this house. So let's go check out my mom's house and see what we did. It is an amazing little property and now she has an amazing place to live. So for those who follow me for a long time, you probably remember what it looked like before. This place was hammered, right? And again, that's why we targeted this type of property for my mom, is I wanted to be able to spend as much as I wanted on the renovation and give her that optimum, uh, that optimum product. Uh, so things that we did, you know, we upgraded the windows, we upgraded the millwork, put in solid core doors, upgraded flooring, and then we opened up this whole kitchen. There was a big wall here, low ceilings. We vaulted the ceilings to give her that big effect. Now, this isn't something I would typically do in a flip because it costs just too much money for what the price point is. But again, it was my mom, so I wanted to upgrade it. And it's more than just upgrading the house. It's about putting the right plan in play. As we're all working on real estate investing, the goal is to get to financial freedom for not maybe even just yourself, but for your whole family. Like how can you impact this all the way through? And if it wasn't for flipping and real estate investing, there's no way I would be able to accomplish this. You know, if I'm working a W-2 job, I have to put away a certain amount of my percentage of income just to save for my parents down the road. But by doing flipping, it allowed us to grow our nest egg rapidly. And that's really the end goal for us. How do we take 50,000? How can we four and five exit over a period of time and then take that money and save it and reinvest it to then make your quality of living better? If we would have took that 50,000 and just got her a rental property and it would have just kind of bled down, we would have, she would have been out of housing money in about four to five years. Now what we've done by flipping the property, growing the pot and waiting and being patient to get to the end goal, we're now in a property that is fully renovated with all high-end finishes for a fraction of what she could actually rent this for and she still has that $50,000 that we can go use to work later and keep growing that back. So she got to keep her, her initial investment. We reinvested all of her profits into this property. It subsidizes the basis down and now her mortgage is very, very affordable. So these are all things that are really key in real estate. You know, a lot of people ask me, why do you flip houses? Why don't you keep them all? Well, I do it to grow my nest egg, to keep things growing forward. Uh, so just give you a quick background on this house. It was hammered through here. We had two bedrooms that were totally collapsed. The bathroom was actually here before and the tub had fallen through the subfloors because it was so rotted out. So we reframed this whole section for her. Uh, we ended up putting in like a little sitting area slash secondary bedroom if she ever needs it. We're gonna mount a TV and this is gonna be our TV room. And then we installed her new master bedroom and through this section. 
we ended up relocating the bathroom over here because the flow of the house just didn't quite work. If we would have had our bathroom here, she would have been stuck with a very tight bathroom and a very small bedroom. So by moving it this way and optimizing the floor plan, it got us a better flow. So as you can see, we got a Jack and Jill bathroom. It's a killer bathroom for what the size of house is. All actually real tile all the way through, herringbone, soap niche, uh, custom uh, tile shower, door, heated floors, mom got it all. And how we get the, all those things is again, saving your money. So as you're, as you're working on flips or you're working in, on any type of investments, don't spend it. Save it and, and focus more on the end goal rather than the money you have now. That's the biggest mistake. People start making a lot of money, they start spending it, and then it can't improve their life down the road. It's about growing that nest egg, finding a way to subsidize your rent cost, your mortgage cost, or giving you more passive income. So grow your, uh, your investment, make sure you put your taxes aside, save it, and then you can reinvest and keep growing. The cool thing about this is my mom is, is leaving her profits in the deal. We have 50,000 and we're still gonna flip properties with my mom and continue to grow that so then she can live off of it. It's true financial freedom for my mom and it's financial freedom for myself and my brothers and sisters because we don't have to pay for all the bills down the road. So the you biggest thing that I want everybody to take away from today is plans can change because real estate changes. And really the whole goal out of this is just to give back to the community and educate, right? Because what we're trying to do here as investors, we're all trying to figure out how to revenize properties, right? Whether it's a fix and flip, ADU, development, and there's so much learning curve. So there's a project flip worth eight weeks where we teach you every little basic step of flipping. You get the contracts, the forms, then we have private money for those who want to lend out their own money, secure their money, make revenue, teach you how to lend out your own money. Now we're teaching wholesaling right now. It's an eight week course on how to get direct to seller, how to collect assignment fees. You hear a lot that you can't find a deal. You can't find a deal. There is plenty of deals out there. It's about how you execute on them and what plan that you're gonna put on these properties.